Shadowan. I want to start off by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rokakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And no respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. To the few Ark and Ma'aqua that are listening, learning, and taking notes and have repented to you, I give I'll give a sincere shout of war. You know, coming back at you with another lesson. And this lesson in particular is going to go, you know, into the righteous way. You know what I'm saying? And when I talk about the righteous way, I'm talking about this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know what I'm saying? That it's been passed down. You know what I'm saying? But you got particular Israelites don't understand what all comes, you know, with having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And what all comes with ha uh, knowing the ways of Yahweh, Bassem, Shem, Yahweh, Shah and the legacy that comes along with it. You know, in that righteous way, you know, was passed down for, to a particular seed line. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we all know that, you know, according in the spirit, you know what I'm saying, there's, uh, there's 18 nations on the earth. You know what I'm saying? And out of 18 nations, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah, has given that righteous way unto one particular nation which he loved the most. You know what I'm saying? And we have to understand how important it is to, you know, to keep the righteous way, you know, near and dear unto us. You know what I'm saying? But to un in order to understand the righteous way of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah, you know, and how important it is. You know what I'm saying? We have to go back to the beginning. You know what I'm saying? In the book of Genesis chapter 2. You know what I'm saying? Um, as we go back to Genesis, Genesis chapter 2. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? We got to understand that, uh, you know, Adam was given... You know, you know the uh, the breath of life. You know what I'm saying. And what was the breath of life? You know what I'm saying. That breath of life was the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of from Yahweh Himself. You know, unto Adam, He was teaching him and telling him about how uh, things in the whole world was made. You know, so on and so forth. He would get. And he was given instructions on how to, you know what I'm saying, on how to treat the earth. You know what I'm saying? And these things are very important. And, you know, you have particular Israelites don't think that, you know, knowing the righteous way is very important. You know, that's a very heavy legacy that our forefathers was, was given, man. You know what I'm saying? The seed line of our forefathers were given the righteous way. And they were very important. Yeah. Every why you always had the seed of the wicked. You know what I'm saying? Wanted to wipe out the seed of the righteous because of that the that way that the righteous were given and was passed down. That legacy on what it all entails for us to have to know the ways of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? And this is Genesis chapter 2. And this is verse 7. You know, and it reads, And Yahweh power formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And and people get it messed up. I mean, we all did at one particular point. We thought that when when we read the scripture, we thought that Adam, you know what I'm saying, was the first man that was created on the earth. But you have to understand that uh, that, that on the sixth day, the 6,000 year period, 
you know, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai created man, you know, he also created woman as, as well. You know what I'm saying? There was always people, you know, start that six thousand year period, there was people on the earth, man. It wasn't just Adam and Eve, they weren't the first two people that were made. But when you read the scripture, you know what I'm saying, that um that Yahweh Bashem Al Shai were Yahweh Yahweh why Yahweh Shah created man, you know, and he breathed into him the breath of life, which we know that's talking about Adam, you know what I'm saying? You know, Yahweh get was giving him the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how things were made and he pretty much on how the world should be ran, man. He was the first one, you know, that was given, you know, the breath of life was given the knowledge on how things were particular things were made, you know, how particular, you know, how the earth was supposed to be ran, you know what I'm saying? And that legacy, according to the scriptures, you know, was passed down to a particular birth line, you know what I'm saying? If you follow Genesis very closely, you know, that way was found with Adam, which I'm going go a little later on, won't get too ahead of myself. That way was, was was passed down, was constantly being passed down. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you also have to understand that they were also the seed of the wicked. You know what I'm saying? That they hated the righteous way. So the, the end all be all, you know, start with the serpent. He always, you know, wanted to find a way to pollute the righteous way. Meaning that um, he was trying to distort the truth. You know why is that? Because you know, because they, you know, if you know, if um, you know, the righteous way continue, you know, what I'm saying the right, the, the seed of the righteous will always be a rulership, and, and we, and that's very important to understand because in the kingdom, we're gonna come back to that righteous way, man. And, and that righteous way is going to be inherited, you know, by the seed of Israel. You know what I'm saying? St start with Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. And, you know, so, you know, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but, you know, the righteous way is going to be implemented back on the earth. But, you know, not to get too ahead of the lesson, you know, we're going to go ahead and read, re re read Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. You know what I'm saying? And it reads, and Yahweh power form man of the dust of the ground and breathe unto his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And when you understand the scriptures in its entirety, you know what I'm saying? That breath of life is this knowledge that has been passed down, you know, from Yahweh to Adam. And we, and through the spirit, you know, uh, Adam, you know, was your house shot. But if you, but you, if you can receive it, you can receive it. If you can't receive it, not for, for you. You know what I'm saying? Because if you go down, you know, um, it says something, in the scripture it says something about the first Adam. But then, you know, let's just get it because, you know, you have to understand the scriptures. I know it's in the New Testament. Here it is. This is First uh, Corinthians chapter fifteen and uh, verse forty-five. And and it reads, and so it was. So it is written. The, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul, which he's talking about, which we read in Genesis, you know, he was given the righteous way. But we know that Adam failed, you know, because he partook in the doctrine of the, the, not, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But let's continue. And the last Adam made a quick in the spirit. That last Adam is your house shot, you know, he, you know, uh, the first Adam, 
you know, he fell, you know what I'm saying? He didn't keep the righteous way. But Yahushua, you know, which is the last Adam, you know, he got it right, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he lived, you know, he lived perfectly. You know, he got it right. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why you got to understand that scripture. You know what I'm saying? The first Adam fell, you know, which we all know is in the spirit that was Yahushua. But the last Adam, which is Yahushua himself, you know, he got it right. And that's the reason why the scripture said that, you know what I'm saying? You know, he sits at the right hand of Yahweh, making intercession for the Israelites, meaning that, you know, he, he used to, you know, he got it right. So he said, nah, he sits at the right hand of Yahweh himself. But you know what I'm saying? When it talks about the right arm, not to go too far off subject, it talks about Yahweh shy. Well, you know, but well, let's continue on. You know, don't want to get too far off topic. You know what I'm saying? It's trying to, you don't want to stay on top as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? Getting back to this righteous way on how important it is to understand the legacy on what, you know, the, the Israelites have, man. You know what I'm saying? It started with Adam. You know what I'm saying? And that breath of life was the, you know what I'm saying, the knowledge that Yahweh will pass down to Adam, you know what I'm saying? And he, 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 he was telling him, you know, all this knowledge, this wisdom knowledge that, you know, you have, you can freely eat, you know what I'm saying? The knowledge of Yahweh by the Shema you know what I'm saying? Any question that you have, you can ask it, you know what I'm saying? All the knowledge that I give you, you know, is what you need. But also, you, if you read verse 6 in Genesis chapter 2, verse 6, you know what I'm saying? He also, Yahweh Shem Al Shah, also made the knowledge of good and evil. And, that's, and that knowledge was forbidden. And, and people think that it was an actually, um, actual fruit. But it wasn't. It was a, a particular way that that was uh that was forbidden because that particular way um you know what I'm saying that particular way what was uh what uh, caused you know men to error you know what caused uh, Adam and Eve to go off but uh you know what I'm saying but we all know the story you know I'm not gonna get too much into it because uh third chapter, you know what I'm saying, we all know that, that you know, those who spirit, we, we, we know Genesis, the third chapter, you know what I'm saying, when the uh, serpent, you know, and it said, you know, he, more, he was more subtle, sub, subtile than any beast of the, of the field, man, when it talks about, uh, you know, the serpent, not actual, it's not talking about an actual snake, it's talking about a man, which have uh, a serpent uh, like qualities, man. Very, very cunning, you know, very wild, very slick, you know what I'm saying? And he went to Eve first. He didn't come to Adam with that nonsense you know because, you know, if he were to try to come to Adam, you know, with, with that nonsense, you know he was going to get rebuked. So what he did was he went to Eve and he told, and, you know what I'm saying? He asked Eve a question. He said, High, you know, your house said you should not have, eat of every tree of the garden. You know, he went on to explain that, you know what I'm saying, we can eat of all the trees of the garden. It's just wisdom and knowledge we, we may free to eat, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, uh, she said that we can't eat it nor touch it unless we die. You know what I'm saying? Which, uh, uh, the, that, that tree of knowledge of good and evil is another way outside the righteous way that, that was forbidden. You know, and um, and Satan told her, he, he said, he said that thou should not surely die. He said, but in the day thereof, if you eat of the tree, though, you should be a God knowing good and evil. Meaning that uh, you're not going to die if you partake take of the, of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know, he 
basically told her, he said, you'll be like the most high, you know good and evil. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was the worst mistake that Eve ever made, you know what I'm saying? Listening to the, to the serpent. And by her listening to the serpent, you know what I'm saying? She thought that the way that the serpent have was more better than the way of Yahweh by Shem Shah. And you can see the result of that, you know, which which goes on today. You know what I'm saying? We got wickedness that's running rampant throughout the earth. But you know, that's part of the story that 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 uh the, the first fruits, you know what I'm saying, will you know, fill out their estate, man. So you got we had to, you know, understand how it is that the their uh wickedness rule on the earth, man. Or how vile it is. But nevertheless though, let, we're gonna continue on. You know what I'm saying? And um Eve thought that the way that the serpent was in it, you know what I'm saying, it was better in the way that your house was in it. You know what I'm saying? And you had Eve uh, thought that uh that that, that tree of knowledge of good and evil was something better. So the tree of knowledge of good and evil was pretty much but like you know I can rule over the man, you know what I'm saying? I have I have I'm equal to the man, you know, so on and so forth. All those wicked thoughts that you know what I'm saying that that uh, people would have. She thought that way was something better. Now here it is that uh, Adam and Eve was given the righteous way, you know what I'm saying? Out of pass that right your way on down to Eve, which he got from uh, Yahweh himself, man. And that right your way also had the same order. And we, we all know why, you know, most Eve is, you know, about order. But, I, but I'm not going to go too far into that, you brother know. But, you know, again, back to, to, um, to the top of your hand, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, Eve, Adam and Eve, you know, was given the righteous way. You know, they were given down a legacy, that, that was a righteous legacy that was very important. And, 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 and the serpent, being the, being the serpent, you know what I'm saying, he was sly and cunning. And he knew that that righteous way, you know what I'm saying, was, was, you know, it, it basically, you know, leads to eternal life, you know. To uh, how things, how the earth, it, you know, really supposed to be ran, and the fullness thereof, on, on, you know, how uh, you know that if, if uh, Adam would kept the righteous way and not eat of eat of that tree of garden, you know, we would we would still be in paradise. But we all know that we're gonna get that back in the kingdom. But you know. You know, not to digress, you know, off the subject a lot. You know what I'm saying? That righteous way is very important to understand because the righteous way is a very important legacy, you know, that's been passed down, you know, from Adam, you know what I'm saying? Until, you know, from Adam, you know, until, uh, you know, until uh, uh, Abel. You know, that way was passed down to Abel. Y'all know according to the scriptures that uh, Abel got killed by Cain, man. Because the scriptures say that Cain killed Abel because he was pretty much he was jealous because of Abel's works were righteous and Cain's works were evil. You know what I'm saying? Because Cain had that attitude and he knew what Yahweh by Shem and how shall require. He required a blood sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Being an animal sacrifice, you know, which you know is entail blood, and uh, you know we know that uh, Abel gave the right sacrifice, and Cain then Cain gave uh, uh, the most out of you know his fruits of the ground, meaning that he basically was gonna give Yahweh what he wanted to give him, and Yahweh rejected that sacrifice, and, and, and even in the midst of that. Uh, you know, Yahweh told, told Cain that if, if you know, if, 
not do it well, will not thou be accepted. I mean, if you give if you give the right sacrifice, which I require, you know, you will be accepted. But we all know the story, you know, when it says something to be fair, if uh, if thou do it not well, I mean if you don't give the right sacrifice, it's saying lies at the door. And it, you know, and we all know that saying over uh, Cain because Cain got jealous of the works of Abel and you know he slew Abel you know meaning that the wicked seed you know had always envied the seed of the righteous you know what I'm saying and that's the reason why our people don't understand how important you know I'm talking about our people talk about the two thirds they don't understand how important that this legacy is that we were given, you know, by Yahweh, by Shem you know, down, you know, down from our, down from our forefathers, man. This legacy is a very, very important legacy that we was given, that was passed down unto us, you know, through the Spirit, you know what I'm saying? And that breath of life, which is the way on how the earth was supposed to be ran, how we created and everything, it was given unto Adam, and, and for Adam, it was given unto Abel. We all know that Abel got slew by Cain, and uh, and uh, you know what I'm saying, Seth was born, and that way was passed down to Seth, and, and, and for Eno, you know, so forth, so on and so forth, you know what I'm saying, Salaki, so like, you know, driver, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, and that way was passed down all the way down to Noah. And we all know that, the, you know, uh, Noah had three sons, which was Shem, Ham, and Japheth. You know what I'm saying? And we all know the story of Noah, that, that you know, the earth, earth, uh, you know, most high destroyed the earth with the flood because of, uh, you know what I'm saying, because of the wickedness of the man on the earth, man. You know, the earth, the earth got destroyed by water, by a flood. And well, we all know that the world, uh, Noah and his son, you know, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, well, particularly Shem, Ham, and Japheth, his, his three sons, the whole earth became over popular, you know, became populated again. You know what I'm saying? But that righteous weight was passed down to Shem. You know what I'm saying? The righteous weight, the Yahweh, Shem, Ham, and Shah was passed down to Shem.
y'all know that Abraham had, you know, he had uh, eight children, you know what I'm saying? But the righteous way that was, you know, given to Abraham was passed down to Isaac. And then, you know, Isaac had two sons, you know, Esau and Jacob. And that righteous way was passed down to Jacob. Depth lessons on that you guys have brought out of King Great Millstone, you know, had done lessons on, on the on the on the breath of life, meaning that the righteous way, you know what I'm saying? That that legacy, you know, that's passed down, you know, is a very, very important legacy. It's a very, very important legacy that, you know, the most high is given. Know, the children of Israel, you know, man, we'll get back on top, you know, uh, you know, the way, you know, went from Abraham to Isaac, you know, the righteous way, get from Isaac, get, get passed down to Jacob, you know what I'm saying, and that righteous way is not only the, you know, not only the righteous way tells, you know what I'm saying, that tells no how things were ran, how the world, how the world was made, how things were ran. But also that righteous way, you know, that the earth being treated in the righteous manner, you know, it led to paradise. And, and, and the seed out of the champ was given that righteous way, you know. Out of, out of three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, you know, Shem was given the righteous way, you know what I'm saying? And we all know this blood Shem now. Yeah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we know that Jacob had uh, 12 sons, you know, the 12 patriarchs. You know what I'm saying? And, and we all know in the, the scriptures that uh, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. You know what I mean? The son of the son of the house. You know what I'm saying? The son of the son of the
shows you that that uh you know by us by us the spirit knowing you know particular things you know, we, in, the, in the kingdom we are going to get that understanding back you know what I'm saying the full understanding you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying we were given that you know let me just say this man you know I I you know so I people don't understand the importance of, of having a legacy, man. Of having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scripture. Knowing that, you know what I'm saying, we got passed down something that's very important that everybody else envy us, man. They envy us because we are, we are you know, given the righteous way, man. You know, we're given the keys to the kingdom, you know. You know your house shop, man. And, and, and the thing about it, man, having that righteous way, you know, knowing the scriptures and, and knowing that this important legacy that's been passed down to us through our forefathers, man, you know, we, we, we're going to rule the kingdom, man. And I want you to think about that for a minute. You know what I'm saying? That Israelites are going to rule the kingdom of heaven, man. Everything's going to go, come back to its rightful place, man. You know, everything is going to go go back to being paradise. And you know how important that is? This legacy that we were given. You know what I'm saying? We were given the righteous way. You know what I'm saying? You know how the earth is supposed to be ran. Even though that we lost because uh, we fell off, but well, do you understand how important it is we're getting that back? You know what I'm saying? It's very important we're getting that righteous way back, man. It's very important to understand what we what we inherited. You know what I'm saying? We inherit a legacy. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and get what? Even though we lost it, get what? When this man, when the, the root, rulership of the wicked is over with, man, we're, we're going to a, to establish on the throne of David. Your leg going to establish up the throne of David. Start with your house, shop. Uh, you're going to establish up the kingdom of heaven, man. That's the reason why you have the up 17 other nations, particularly Esau, Edom, they envy us, man. They hate us because Yahweh Shem Al Shah is only dealing with the Israelites because we are the only people, you know, out of, you know, out of his 18 nations, on, out of 18 nations on the earth, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The most high is only has only passed the righteous way down to the Israelites, man. Because if you read the book of Psalms, chapter 147, in the 19th verse, you know, he goes on to say, He showed his words word unto Jacob, and his statutes and judgment unto Israel. But he had not dealt so with any nation. You know what I'm saying? And for his ways. You know what I'm saying that righteous way. You know they, you know they have not known it, man. You know what I'm saying. Roughly paraphrase. You know for his judgment, they have not known them. These 17 other nations, they don't know the righteous way of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Why? Because it is not given to them, man. You know what I'm saying? Because in this world, according to Second Ezra chapter six, I believe it. Roughly around verse 54 to 58. You know, I believe, I believe it was in 57. You know, he brought the correct me on that. You know what I'm saying? Ezra asked a question. He said, you know, the world was made for our season. He had why why we didn't possess it. it. Because we fell off, man. We disobeyed the law, statute, and commandments. So Yahweh Shimao shot. 
you know, going back to going back to Adam and Eve. You know, they were told not to eat of the tree or not that you're good to eat. You know, he said if you eat eat there, you know, y'all told me you eat there, thou shall surely die, man. You know what I'm saying? They were given the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how everything in the earth is supposed to be ran. You know what I'm saying? They were given the wisdom on how to how to run the earth, man. But, you know what I'm saying? We all know how they go. You know, that wasn't enough, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, he, you know, didn't believe that that was enough. So he thought the way of the the way that the serpent gave her, uh, which was a bit, she thought that was better. And look at what's going on in the earth today, man. So, for those who are waking up in the truth, man, and you got the will of Yahweh Shemal Shah, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit, you know, this wisdom, not to understand it, you got to count how blessed you are, man. Because not too many people have breath of life, man, that righteous way that was passed down to our forefathers, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we all know that Israel going to get that back in the kingdom, man, you know, all of Israel going to get that in the kingdom, you know what I'm saying, even the two-thirds, man, but understand, you know, you're waking up in the truth, you know what I'm saying, understand what you inherited, man. You know what I'm saying? Understand that you got the breath of life, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you understand the scriptures, we were once the valley of dry bones. You can read that in Ezekiel chapter 37, man. You know what I'm saying? We did not know who we were. We did not have a clue. We, you know, we took on the names of the, of the, of the uh, by words that were given unto us because we didn't have a clue on uh, knowing who we, who we were, man. We didn't have a clue. But it was through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, you know what I'm saying? We woke up, you know what I'm saying? We woke up and we coming back to that legacy. We coming back to that righteous way, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? We got to understand what we inherited here, you know what I'm saying? We inherited a, a legacy that was passed down from Yahweh, you know, to Adam, you know, passed on down to their righteous seed line. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> so I can put that. We will pass down something that's very important, you know what I'm saying? The, the legacy, you know what I'm saying? We passed down that seed line, that not seed line, but that breath of life. You know what I'm saying? We're waking up to it, man. You know? And we got to let his repentance coming back to the ways that y'all have our shot. You know what I'm saying? You know, we starting to understand, you know, through the spirit, you know what I'm saying? On, on the importance of the breath of life, man. And that's very important to, to, to understand, to know that uh, that the way of righteousness, you know what I'm saying, it has a lot, you know, and that way was given to the Israelites, man. You know, it's been given to the Israelites, you know what I'm saying, because, because, because you, you know, you jake, you know, particularly you two-thirds, you're not understanding what you, what what we have here. You not understand that that the Most High Yahweh Shem Al Shah, you know, is giving up. You know, he he, he, had, he giving us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And and now on that, we're going to inherit the kingdom. Man. Do you not know how important all this all this is? I want you to think about this for a minute. I want you to really meditate on this. Meditate on the scriptures as, uh, as Joshua 1 and 8 says. You know, meditate on the word 
day and night, you're going to have good success, you know, roughly paraphrase. But meditate on us getting, giving the breath of life, you know what I'm saying, giving the righteous way. I want you to seriously meditate on that. Out of, you know, it's 18 nations on the earth, man. And out of 18 nations, the nation of Israel is the only one that has get, been given the breath of life, man. We are the only, only seed that the Most High is dealing with on how this earth being ran, man. Wipe out the seed of the righteous, man. 
You know what I'm saying? That seed of the wicked wants to wipe out the seed of the righteous. You know what I'm saying? Because they know the legacy on what the seed of the righteous have, man. And we have a very, very important legacy that, that's been passed down. You know what I'm saying? That's been passed down to us, man. We have a very important legacy. You know what I'm saying? That's been passed down to us. You know. But you know what I'm saying? If you're in the spirit, you'll you'll understand how important this is, man. And, and guess what? We coming back to that. And that's why you got the nation of Esau Edom, which the world is ran by now. You know, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, as it said in Job 9:24. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why the wicked Esau Edom, that's the reason why they, they, they're in fear, man. You know, they, they're afraid because they know that the seed of the righteous is waking up and, 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 and most importantly, the elect is repent and coming and calling upon the name of Yahweh Shem Shah. You know what I'm saying? That's part of their righteous way, knowing the names of the Father and the Son, man. And we are giving out, and we're getting all that back. But we all know that in the kingdom, we're gonna get the full capacity of the wisdom not to understand. We're gonna really get it back in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get the full knowledge. We're gonna get the full understanding back. Man. We, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get it back. You know, in the kingdom. I'm talking about the full understanding. Whereas well, so right now us waking up and repenting, calling upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. We're coming back into that man. But the full knowledge of it, we're gonna receive it in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, we're gonna receive immortality. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna receive new bodies. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna, we're gonna have spiritual power on a whole nother level, man. You know what I'm saying? That's part of that righteous way. You know, listen to all the things that, that, that the righteous way is getting with not only the wisdom knowledge. We go, we're gonna have eternal life. We're gonna have immortal bodies. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have spiritual power on a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? You take the feet that you read in the, in, in the scriptures uh, from our forefathers are very important. Wait till we get wait till we get into the kingdom and wait till we get that spiritual power. You know what I'm saying? Brothers are gonna be blessed with that spiritual power. You know what I'm saying? Wait till the kingdom of heaven. We're gonna be on a whole nother level. You know, and think about it, it said uh, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, those uh, you know, the least is gonna be, you know, roughly paraphrasing. It's going to be the house of David, man. It's it going to be as, no, not house of David, but be as of David. And you read about David, you know how mighty David was, man. You knew how mighty David was. And the elect is going to be as Yahweh, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah. The elect is really going to be on a whole nother level. Man, my goodness gracious, man. Well, you know, it's locking for that, that, you know, I they, they ain't really getting too many scriptures. But uh, you know what I'm saying? If you want an in-depth lesson, you know, particularly Great Millstone and GMS Dallas, you know, they they really go into the the their righteous way, the legacy of, of the righteous man. Really have excellent lessons on it, and they really go into much depth than I went into, man. You know what I'm saying? We want to get the full understanding. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you know, you go into, you know, great meals on they, they have, uh, they have lessons on it, but I mean, you know, why, why I just talk, but you know, they go into much in depth with the lessons. But you know what I'm saying? It's a lot, you know, going into, you know, the 
legacy that we're given. You know what I'm saying? If you if you only understand, you know, the legacy of what we are given, you know, the is life what we're given.